game. 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 You know, a lot of this, a lot of the shit that goes on right now is just a lot of games. You know, what I'm saying like game. His whole situation is just he just trying to get publicity. So that's why you know people not really taking it too serious. And so it's really not real beef. You know, like Tupac and Biggie and all that type. But it can't go there because you know the knuckleheads that hang around. You know, the the artists can can take it to that level. Do you realize that 50's mixtape, 50 and Eminem's mixtape, so more than games album? Like one point. One or one point two, I think. No, yeah. they're both in the eight hundreds, but their mixtape had the the re up yeah. to the general public is the album, but industry wise, you know what it is? It is a fucking mixtape. It was one video, no promotion. Eminem and Fifty Cent put out a mixtape, and they put Cashes and Ob Trice and Lloyd Banks on it to promote shady artists. And as well as to promote, you know, whatever news coming, because Eminem and 50 are the greatest rappers out there, as well as Dr. Dre. We all know this, right? That's why I say Interscope only gives a fuck about them. We all know this, right? Okay. Now you look at the the proof is in the pudding. Let's go to the sound scan. Let's go to let's find it. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it. Just pay attention to the sound scan. Eminem Rio, 835, right? Right there, Eminem, Eminem presents the re-up, 835, right? What do you think right, 835, okay. and what does it say right there? 22,000, up there, that was last week, this week it's at 20,000, 8%. This is with no fucking promotion. No stickers, no flyers, maybe no commercials, no nothing, no, no going to radio. This is with no promotion at all. It's at 835, right? Let's go to game. Oh, is Game still on his first page? No, he's not even on the first page. I figured that. Nas, damn, he's on like 598. Nas, damn. I want to know how much money they spent on that project. Shout to Snoop, he's doing good. Um, I can't even find Game. Oh, all right, highlight it. Game is at 821, right? This week he did what, 10,000? That was last week. No, 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 this is, this got to be... He dropped seven percent somewhere right here. It's backwards. He made he did eleven thousand last week and he dropped down to ten thousand. That means his album is completely finished. His last album, when Fifty wrote and created it, he did five million, ladies and gentlemen, and he did six hundred and change his first week. Now he's struggling at eight twenty one, and Fifty Cent Eminem mixtape is at eight thirty five with no promotion. And Interscope, let's be honest, how much money did we spend on that project? Yeah, it was supposed to be a mixtape. I remember I was talking about so, Al so there's a that. yeah, there's a lot of shit that people don't realize about the game, like how a nigga is, is spending is it got six people splitting his money. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's under production deal from somebody. I think his name is D Mac, whatever D Crack. I don't know what the guy name is. He's under production deal to him. So out of his million dollar advance that he got off his album, he had to give him four hundred thousand dollars. He had to give Jimmy Hedgeman two hundred thousand dollars. He had to give. His lawyer six percent. That's about thirty thousand dollars, and that's six hundred and change right there out of his million. So that leaves him with four hundred out, four hundred thousand. Then you know he went and bought Bentleys. I heard his Bentley got repoed and stuff like that. You know what I mean? He went and bought his Bentley and shit like that, and his house and all that. And then you pay taxes, so that leaves him with nothing. Game is just doing his shows to survive. Me, I don't have to do that. I could ask Fifty to borrow two to three million dollars. Wow. It doesn't okay. matter because 50's not getting rich only off of rap. He's getting rich off of vitamin water as well as other things too. Just simple and plain, bro. It was the first time for me and Game ever being in the same, you know, place as each other. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't want to leave the situation without at least addressing it. We both there. We was having eye contact from across the club. Chose to go to the stage. Play one of his records. The record I really wanted to play, I couldn't hear. It was One Blood. I wanted to hear that. I liked that record. They didn't have it. I told him to play any game record they had. He played it. I made the crowd put their dubs up, being that I was on the west side. Uh -huh. And pretty much, you know, was telling um, telling game, look, bro, either we can get it on and get to the money. Period. Point blank. However, however you want to do it. And, you know, he started to make his way to the stage. At the end of the day, the security of the club jumped in the middle of it, rushed him out of the club. I don't know if he was coming to get it on or to get to the money. No, I laid it there for him to come. 
You know, that's my take on all of it. I even ran into Jay the Kiss at the All Star game. You know, with all this G on it and the locks. And my first thing was, look, man, this is a problem. And you like, Buck, I ain't tripping, man. Anything good, man, I ain't neither. We smoked a hell of a blunt together. Yeah. Straight up and down. Same thing with 50 Cent and Cam. 50 Cent situation and Cam. The minute they go at it, Jim Jones called my phone, Buck. <laughs> look, I don't think the situation going to last long. Jim, I don't neither, man. Hip hop is an aggressive thing, right? We all know it's aggressive. You got to have a set of fucking balls to be around in this shit, from being in shows all over, from Baltimore to DC. Y'all seen how shows get, people get hurt. You gotta know how to move. Am I wrong or am I right? <laughs> now, dudes like Cameron, I mean like, like, 50's like on a whole nother level in him. He is. 50 sold 11 million records, bro. You probably went platinum one time, you know what I'm saying? Driving around in your Bobby truck. Caught a couple of stunts. We really, we drive bulletproof trucks, bro. Our money is long. Like, the money you're talking on, Koch Records, that ain't no money to me, bro. You understand what I'm saying? You think it's a graveyard? I can look at my phone right now and call Trump, bro. Yeah. I can go on the phone and call, get in contact with Donald Trump right now, bro. You right. think I'm worried about it? Or get on the phone and call who can call Lindsay Lohan or somebody. I need drops to my mixtape. Or Samuel L. Jackson, bro. I DJ drops Ferraris, bro. What are, you, what are you asking me the question? What, are, what the fuck you mean, what's up with the call with camera, bro? <laughs> this dude wears pink, bro. I'm like, like he's like, you know, and what I'm saying is, and like, and like, and, 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 and if dudes is really blood, then what's your oath? Who blooded you in, bro? Let me know. I'm from New York City. I'm not blood. I know bloods. I know Crips. Who blooded you in? You're talking to a real dude, man. I did interviews on Rikers Island, bro. I survived on, on, on Home of the Boldest, bro. Shout out to everybody in Rikers Island, show, for sure. You know, C73, C74, C95, you know what I mean? Downstate, Elmira, Sing Sing, wherever you at. I survived Rikers Island. I'd heard a, like an interview from Game. He was saying, like, young Buck, Buck that's my dude. Yeah. I take a bullet for him. Like, I, I remember, you know, it seemed like at one point y'all two were close. Yeah, man, we always was close. I don't, I don't care if that nigga ever get out here and act like we wasn't. It was a part of time, bro. We was good. We left on a good note. Only reason why we ain't good and still ain't good is because it's 50 cent shit. I'm just the first nigga to say, look, if it's a problem, let's get to it. If it ain't, let's get to the money. G Unit are the first ones to, to, to take an artist from California, which is game, and, and, and turn him into the, a big artist, which he turned into. You understand what I'm saying? Mr. Potato Head, he's a put together gangster. You understand what I'm saying? 50 gave him the head, Dre gave him the arms. Interscope gave him the body, Eminem gave him the legs, and his brother gave him the heart. You understand? His brother. Shout out to his brother. His brother don't even fuck with him no more. Big Faith. He don't even fuck with the nigga no more. Yeah, no because he's a, he's a put together gangster. You understand what I'm saying? When I remember Game, he wasn't even flagging. Like, you know what I'm saying? When I first met him, he didn't have on a, a red flag or a burgundy flag. I think it was yellow or pink or something. Game. Game said my name on the record. Um, Remember what he said? He said, uh, what he said? He said something, it was like a couple blood shots. He said, that's for Hot Rods, uh, promotional truck. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even know he said it. I'm sitting at home and my phones, you know, start ringing or whatever, like they did on the freestyle. And it was like, oh, Game said your name. I was like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I just thought it was cool, man, cause you know, just to know, just to, you know, coming from where I'm coming from, you know what I'm saying? Doing the independent thing, just trying to get heard. You know, I mean, I got, I got niggas saying my name now. You know what I'm saying, and just the whole thing, man. I got Arizona on my back. You know what I'm saying. Even Cameron said something about AZ. You know, he said something about, you know, Scottsdale or something like that. Right. You know, I mean, it's cool though. Cameron, you and Koch, let's be honest. If you do want it to me, yeah, Koch is a is a rapper's graveyard. If you've been on a major already. If you was on a major already, like say how I'm on Interscope, and then I go to Koch, yeah, that's the end of my career. I'm just playing around and play around. You can see me. You know what I'm saying? I, I got about a hundred and change on me right now. I'll be 50 hype man and make a hundred thousand, bro. Shout out to everybody in Germany, Serbia, Sweden. Where else we went? Finland. Finland. I did five shows and made a hundred thousand with 50, bro. Doing seductive. That song is two years old. People don't give a fuck about you, bro. I was 
asked, well, have I ever seen them kiss? And I was like, yeah, I seen it. Yeah, I spoke on it, you know. At the end of the day, it was just me answering it with a truthful thing, being that I felt like, you know, with it being done from Nate's situation on 106 and Paul on the couch. So I felt like, you know, asking me a question like that, it was already done for everybody to see. Uh -huh. And you know, I wasn't trying to start no beef or create no beef or whatever. I ain't got no beef with Baby or Wayne or none of that shit. Uh -oh.